Crafters, Dre with Clueless Mama DIY here and I hope you're ready to have fun because I have 10 fun Christmas games to share with you guys. You guys can do this with your family or in large groups or whatever. And I actually got back from a Christmas party tonight. So I am in the mood to share this with you. And I actually met Tina Turner. Here she is, true story. <laughs> Just joking. But this lady is like the world's most awesome impersonator for Tina Turner. She rocked the house. She's been on Ellen and everything. Anyways, it was so fun. We're gonna get to the point. If you're looking for Christmas game ideas, this is where it's at. And make sure you hit subscribe and the bell if you wanna keep in touch with me. I help you go from clueless to I got this on beautiful and affordable DIYs and decor for your home. And I also hook you up with videos like this. So it's a no brainer. This one I thought of myself. I mean, it's gonna be so fun to try and I'm gonna show you a little clip of us trying it. But Christmas rapping, but it's a play on words. It's not really rapping. It's like the lyrical rapping. You get it? But anyway, <laughs> basically you have to do a Christmas story rap and you take turns going around the circle. So someone starts it off with a Christmas phrase or sentence the next person has to make it rhyme and make sense and so on and so on and so on and when you mess up the rhyme or take too long to come up with your rhyme you are out my friend wrapping presents under my tree santa claus is overlooking at me milk and cookies up my table i don't know if santa's even able <laughs> Christmas tree. So this one I did get from another YouTube video which has more ideas. I'll link that below. And it's basically you just grab some Christmas colored cups and you have people race or groups of people race to see how fast they can stack up the cups. And you give them a timed amount and whoever gets the highest amount of Christmas tree is the oh Christmas tree winner of the game. All right guys, let's just get probably the most common one out of the way, but it's always fun. And that's music present pass. We actually played this tonight at the party and it's always a hit. Basically just put some chairs together with their backs facing each other and everybody sits in a circle and you play music and when the music stops, whoever is holding the present that gets passed along is out. See you later. They're out and it keeps going down and there's less and less people until the last man standing wins the prize. So the nice thing about Christmas trivia is I feel like it's a really good game to start off with. You know, when people are just warming up and they haven't drank enough booze, if it's that kind of party, you can pass the Christmas trivia around and have people work in teams and get to know each other. It's a really good thing to do for large groups. And if you're looking for a funny one, there is a link in the pinned comment that is not the description. It's where people talk and say, this woman sucks, she's talking too much and where just get to the games. In that section, I have a link where you can go ahead and get your free printout for a trivia game. Okay, full disclosure, this one is not exactly a Christmas game, but it's sure to be a party hit and costs absolutely nothing to do. There is this weird sort of thing going around. I don't know what it's called. I've seen it through like TikTok or whatever. And basically it is this thing that women can do that men can't, but men try to do anyways. And it is super funny. I'm gonna show a little clip of it. Um, but me and my husband tried it too, and it's really funny, and I think it's gonna be perfect for any Christmas game just to see the men struggle to do this. It's something to do with the center of gravity, but here's what it's like. Who am I? 
No, seriously, do you know who I am yet? <laughs> Drea, clueless my DIY, subscribe. No, this one's called Who Am I? And it's another one that I think is good towards the beginning of the games, especially if it's a large party where not everybody knows each other. Basically, you stick the name of a Christmas character on a head, and I think this is similar to, I don't know, I think of The Office. Comment below if you guys remember that office scene where they're sticking racial races on their head. It's kind of inappropriate, but it's super funny. Anyways, you pick a Christmas character. It could be the Grinch. Somebody just writes them all out on a tag and then gives them randomly, randomly to people and they stick it on their head and everybody walks around and they basically just have to guess who they are by asking questions. By a kid? No. Am I a villain? You're green, okay? They get the point. Cam Grinch. Yes. <laughs> like tradition slash game and I don't know if it necessarily fits into every kind of Christmas party but if there is going to be opening of the presents it is a really fun one you can pick up this Christmas pickle at the Dollar Tree Ooh, I guess it's some kind of like old German tradition or something like that but basically you hide it on the tree because it's kind of camouflaged with the green and then you let the little kids race to see who picks out the pickle, the Christmas pickle first, and then that person gets to open their gifts. So we've been doing that the last few years and it's really been a hit with us and it's kind of like a fun game way of opening presents. Christmas cookie monsters. For this one, you grab any type of Christmas cookie you can find and people just literally put the cookie on their head and then with no hands, they race to see who can eat the Christmas cookie the fastest. So. Oh, oh, hey, no hands. You cheated. I cheated. we usually play and love is the snowball shovel. Basically what you do is you buy some cotton balls and you just have two bowls out and tongs and you blindfold two people and they race to shovel the snowball from one bowl to the next as fast as they can. And something is just funny about the fact of how bad they usually suck at doing this. <laughs> so it's just one of those fun games that you can do. This one is a classic, but it's so funny every time, and that is Christmas Pictionary. Basically, you use the titles from a Christmas song, and somebody has to draw that out, draw the scene of it, and everybody has to guess what the heck they're drawing. Maybe not Frosty the Snowman, because that's super easy, but you can use a different line from the song, like dashing through the snow, and good luck drawing that, right? It's just a fun one, and the creativity comes out, and everybody from all ages really appreciates it. That's it guys, that was 10 fun Christmas games that you can totally do. You are welcome for that. Don't forget to check out my fun and easy Christmas DIYs if you haven't seen them. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna keep in touch. And Merry Christmas. Bye.